Okay, so we're gonna call this pole number one. You stick pole number one inside of the base and notice it has holes in it. The holes do not have to line up with each other. You just simply screw the screw inside the hole and that's what keep the pole sturdy. We're gonna call this the wig holder. It has three different sides and it rotates. That's what you would put the actual mannequin heads on. This is pole number two. Notice that it does have a groove in it. And that slides right into pole number one. Remember, it does not have to line up. The holes do not have to line up with each other. Okay, and we're gonna call this, oops. Okay, we're gonna call this um, the, the stopper. Yeah, we can call it the stopper. So this is the stopper that stops the wig holder, yeah. So you slide that on the pole, use the screw, screw it in. Like I said, it, the hose does not have to line up. You just screw it in the hole and that's what keep the pole sturdy. So that was the wig holder stopper. And here's the wig holder. Rotate. Yes. Okay, there's the stopper again. Did you notice the hole in it? You place these wherever you want it to go on the pole. The holes does not have to line up with each other. You just screw the screw into the hole and that's what's gonna stop the wig holder and it will rotate. Now we made it towards the end. That was really simple. This is the logo that goes on the top. This is the crown, slides right in. And then you just place this on the top of the stand, the wig stand. And that slides right in. Okay, so here's the mannequin head. You can use whatever mannequin head you like. This is a rubber mannequin head and it slides right onto the wig holder. Just make sure that it has a hole at the bottom and it will slide right on and it will rotate. Yay. So those are the rubber ones. These are the foam ones. It's okay to use foam mannequin heads as well. Just make sure that it has a hole at the bottom. 